Okay, this is going to be a uh, CCT setup tutorial with your stack mat. This is how to set up your stack mat uh, for using it on CCT timer. Uh, don't mind the noise in the background um, if it gets loud at times. Don't mind that. Okay, um, so there's going to be three specific things that you're definitely going to need. Um, of course, you're going to need a stack mat, which is very obvious, but it has to have the port in the bottom of the timer right there because I know the glow-in-the-dark timer here does not have the port okay and it has to have that port in the bottom right there so if you don't have that then you can't do it but if you have that then you're all good alright so once you have that you're gonna need two other things okay you're gonna need one of these this is an audio cable and uh... it's this is a th the three feet audio, audio cable and uh... it's three point five millimeters on each side which is what you need and i got this for about six bucks so at Radio Shack, you can get um, both of these things at Radio Shack. So you need one of these, 3.5 millimeters on each side, and it's just an audio cable. Okay, so you need one of those, and then uh, you also need a uh, an adapter. It's 3.5 millimeters on this side and 2.5 millimeters on this side. So you need one of these too, and you can pick this up for about I don't know, pretty cheap though. Um, okay. So once you have both of those things, you're just going to take the audio cable right here, and you're going to take your adapter, and you're going to plug it into one side of the audio cable, like that, and plug, then you take, there's still this end, okay? So you're going to take your stack mat with the adapter, and you're going to want to plug this, okay, into your stack mat. Then you're going to want to take the opposite end of the audio cable, and you're going to want to plug this down into the bottom of your computer and on the uh, microphone jack. So I'll leave that up to you to find because um, all computers are different but mine is right down here. Okay, it's plugged in. Okay, so now once you have that and this thing is plugged in, then you want to go into your uh, CCT. Right there. Okay, so now that we're in CCT, we're going to want to go up here to where it says file, okay, and you're going to want to click there, and you're going to want to go down um, to where it says configuration, which is right there, so click that, and you should have a box that opens up like this. Alright, so then you're going to want to go up here, where it says stack mat settings, okay, Let me, I'll take this off of the tripod so you can get a closer view. Go where it says stack mat settings, and then you should get something like this, okay, and here it says stack mat value, and then it says just some stuff right here and it says if your timer displays any of these change the corresponding box and then you should at the bottom you should get a little drop down box like this and you should get um, some mixers in here that are chosen you should either have six or seven um, all together here but you may only have a couple that you can actually use so just kind of experiment with the ones that you can use and one of them should be it um, because I've never had that, I haven't had that problem yet. So um, the one I use is going to be mixer number three, and what it is, it's it's primary sound capture driver, and then it like desk uh, direct audio device direct sound capture. So that's the one I use right there. So that's mixer number three for me, but it could be different on your computer, so you just have to check around with that. So I'm gonna check that mixer number three, and then once I have that, I'm just gonna click apply. Alright, sorry for the camera so shaky. Okay, so once you click apply, you're going to want to close out of the box. And down here where it says um, use keyboard timer, if that box is chosen, you want to uncheck that box because that needs to be unchecked. Okay, so now um, once that's all done, you want to turn on your timer here. Turn it on. And you should get a reaction let focus where it says timer is on. So if I turn it off, it should say timer is off. If I turn it on, it should say timer is on. So that's what you need right there. And once you have that, you can pretty much start playing around with it. Um, make sure it works properly. I'll put this back on the tripod here. Okay. So now you should it should work properly, okay? And then when I stop it, 
4.05 and uh, 4.05 there. So yeah, it should work good. Um, if it doesn't, if your stack mat is still not working right now, then there is some stuff you can do. Uh, go up to File, Configuration, and then go back to Stack Mat Settings, and then go in this box, and um, that's the Stack Mat value right here at the top. I'll, show, I'll take this off again and show you. Okay, that's what the Stack Mat value is for right here. Um, I've heard on Macs, uh, Mac computers, you need to have the value um, pretty low, maybe even like 15, 10, something like that, pretty low. But on a normal um, Windows computer, um, it, you can leave it around 50, because that should work perfectly. So that's pretty much uh, how to set up your uh, stack mat into CCT. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions on this, feel free to ask me, because I'll respond um, definitely to them. Because um, everyone needs to have their set up, because it's really fun. And... Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And ask me questions if you have any questions.